Hey guys, it's Rooster here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys have probably noticed, I am not in my normal location today. This weekend, our family actually came down to our cabin in the forest, and it's pretty sick. Alright, so now that I'm in the cabin and I've got a little more space to work with than my normal workshop setup, I thought today would be the perfect day to do a DJI versus analog indoors comparison, especially because it's getting close to winter and a lot of people might want to know, should I use analog or DJI indoors? What's the comparison between the two? So I'm going to be doing a comparison. Uh, I'm going to fly each, give you my thoughts on each of them and maybe suggest what I would um, consider for flying in the winter or indoors just in general. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be using for my example clip to show the digital and analog systems. Just keep in mind though, when comparing, I'm gonna be comparing the whole systems, uh, them as a whole rather than my specific setup so that we're not just saying like, oh, I had these bad box goggles that weren't good for analog, so it's not good. Just uh, remember that. Anyways, here's what I'm using for my analog setup. It is the Beta FPV Starter Kit. I've actually been having a lot of fun with this lately. It's nice to have an extra set of box goggles, like I said earlier, for other people to watch. Um, controller, and there's the little brush whoop. And for the digital setup, I'm going to be using the DJI goggles and controller, obviously, and the Rotori at DigiWhoop, which is kind of the smallest you can go with DJI right now. There's some other whoop-sized DJI quads, um, but this is the one I have. Right off the bat, you can notice the size difference between the two. Uh, and one last thing to note is there's a Cadex Vista in the DigiWhoop, not a full-size Air unit. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a clip from both of those systems uh, just so you can get a feel for what they look like before we start actually comparing and me telling you my opinions on both of them. Uh, I don't have my SD card with me now, so I can't show you a physical clip, but I have clips from me flying indoors with both of these systems previously. Okay, so first off, let's talk digital. The most notable thing you guys will notice right off the bat is it's bigger, like I said before. Um, in addition to that, the price is much higher on any digital setup than on an analog setup. Just for this quad alone, it's about 300, compared to the whole setup of the analog is only 100. However, this has really good penetration and range because it is a digital quad um, throughout a house. So I can go throughout both my house and this cabin and in both of those situations I haven't noticed um, any breakup or anything like that just because of how good the digital system is with penetration and other things like that. So those are some cons of the digital over the analog. Um, but in general, just the image quality of digital is much more enjoyable and looks really cool, especially with the LED um, mode on the digital system indoors. I really like it. Um, 
Another thing to talk about is this is a pretty big quad and it's kind of the ducts are a bit open on it so it can be a little dangerous. You probably don't want to fly near people like you could with a digital teeny whoop or sorry analog teeny whoop um, but for the most part I think it's pretty nice uh, maneuverable uh, it has a really good tune that comes stock came stock on it and I like the DJI experience a bit better indoors I think over the analog however that is because I have digital I know some people don't have that opportunity but there still is some cons to di to the digital system now talking about analog like I said before the size is a big difference this thing is much lighter it's much smaller I'd say much safer and analog is way cheaper to get so those are mostly the cons and that's why something like this would be a beginner quad or something that the uh, you'd get into FPV and have this in the beginning um, but besides that the image quality and range can be a little grainy and iffy indoors especially because analog isn't as good as penetrating like DJI is however if you have HDO2's a really good expensive setup as expensive as DJI you can get the same range in penetration and still have this small form factor of an analog quad just without the HD video feed that you get with um, DJI so I think that flying something like this that's small and you can just kinda go cruise around the house is much more fun than the digital experience but the range and penetration is much worse so you have to look out for that when you are deciding if you want to do this or that indoors but to be honest you could get this $50 teeny whip if you already have analog goggles and have this in addition to a full DJI setup if you really want to for me living in Maine we have half of our FPV season indoors so I do have both in analog and digital teeny whip setup and I really like flying indoors so it's really up to you in the end you've got the digital and analog a little bit bigger a little bit better penetration and you've got better overall image quality more expensive but you might have more maneuverability and better rates and filters compared to this which is cheap good for beginners um, it's just more fun in general smaller form factor and that's really what you have to compare um, so thanks for watching guys uh, I'll see you in the next video comment down below what you guys like best indoors and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching